Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. So today I have a process video for you using the Cocoa Vanilla Happiness Kit. Now I took a 12 by 12 basil cardstock, put gesso on it. Once that dried, I used pastel watercolors and I did green on the bottom half and blue on the top half and I just kind of painted it willy nilly. Now I am doing this because the picture I am scrapbooking today is a photo of my son hydro painting, something he learned on YouTube. So once I let the gesso dry and then put the watercolor on there, I let that dry. Then I went ahead and I uh, used some scrap paper from the happiness kit and I went ahead and framed my photo. Now I only used one layer for this and I tried to use the blue paper so it matches the blue on the top of the photo. So it mimics the sky and the grass area. Now I'm taking a little label because I'm going to use this tag here and I'm going to put that on the top left hand corner of my page and I did use crochet thread to go ahead and loop it into the top of the tag and I used my dark gray vintage Sarasa pen to do my journaling and I wrote Uni Hydro Painting a Nerf Gun after watching a YouTube video. Love this kid so much. Then I'm using some stickers that came in this collection and I am putting a heart sticker on the tag. Now I'm also using some butterflies that came in the die cut pack as well as some butterflies I fussy cut and I'm going to put them all over the page. Now I'm taking the clear transparent arrow stickers and I'm putting it on each side of the photo so it aims towards my son and I'm putting some die cuts um, onto the top right hand portion of the photo. So my triangle is going to go from the top left hand of the photo, I mean of the page, to the top left hand of the photo, to the top right hand of the photo. And I'm keeping, keeping the bottom part kind of bare. So I did use powder tool to get some of the stickiness off of some of these stickers. And then I am popping them up on foam dots from the Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. And I put the best on the left hand side and then the collection also came with a bunch of words and die cut and so I am using my title to be so you and I'm popping that up and putting that on the top left hand portion of my photo. I like to put things on the photo in, in the white space of the area that's where all the grass is and I have him pictured on the right hand side of the photo. Now whenever I take a photo that I know I'm going to scrapbook I do look for white space so I knew I wanted to have a lot of white space on this photo I didn't know what kind of layout I was going to do but I did know I wanted a lot of white space so that's why you see a lot of grass there now I am taking my fine line applicator and I have scotch quick dry adhesive there and I'm putting foam on each side of the butterfly wing so it looks like it's flying so the wings are up and these are butterflies I fussy cut from one of the card socks that came in the collection. Now I am going to put five butterflies on there. You can see I'm trying to figure out where to put the butterflies. I want to make sure none of the butterflies are the exact same color next to each other. So that's why you see me moving things around. And I do put Stampin' Up! foam dimensionals on each side of the wings so it looks like they are in flight. Now I put another um, heart on the right hand side of the photo and I'm going to have my embellishment clusters have three things. So on the top left hand side is the tag, the heart sticker, and then the butterfly. And on the bottom right hand portion of my photo all I'm having is a butterfly and I like things to be in odd numbers. Odd numbers make things visually appealing to the eye. So the butterflies in flight, I'm going to have five butterflies. It's going to take your eye around the layout. Now I put the green butterfly on the top of the best ribbon and then I'm going to add some more flowers behind that so that it'll be weighted heavier on the top left hand portion of the photo. You can see here I'm trying to look and see how it looks and it looks like I need to add more weight to the middle of the page. So I'm going to do that. I'm looking at the stickers that came with this collection and I do buy the entire collection whenever I buy a Cocoa Vanilla kit or collection. I buy the entire collection. I'm using a sticker to add the flower to the top left hand portion of the photo. And then I'm going to add some more die cuts so that I add more flowers to it. So it's going to, I'm going to put those behind the, um, 
the ribbon. I'm adding this leaf portion to the, I think I'm going to put it there, but I actually do end up moving it to the right hand side of the photo so that there's some greenish coming out of the right hand side of the photo. I'm going to add more flowers and butterflies here. You can see that there. I'm adding some leaves to, to the top left hand portion of the photo into that embellishment cluster. And I'm going to add two more flowers so that it looks like there's a bunch of flowers there instead of just that one. And it's going to go behind the ribbon that says best, the best. So it looks like there's a cluster of flowers there. Now I'm putting the blue heart there um, on the right hand side of the photo because I want there to be a heart in each of the embellishment clusters. I do end up putting another peach kind of a heart on uh, behind the butterfly, behind the photo, um, on top of the flower, on the top left hand portion of my photo. You'll see that there. So that each embellishment cluster has a heart as well as a butterfly. Now instead of having a flower on the top left hand portion of my layout, I do have the tag there so that it has three items in the embellishment clusters. So you see where I'm putting the heart now. It's behind the photo, but on top of the flower. And I'm looking at this layout, and it still looks like I need to add more weight to the middle of the photo. I mean, in the middle of the layout, where it says the best. So I'm going to look for more die cuts um, and add some more flowers to that embellishment cluster. And then you'll see I'm trying different die cuts out to see how it's going to be weighted. And the one that I'm looking at now, it doesn't work that well. It could have worked out. You know, I spend a lot of time on this particular layout fussing with the little details. And you don't need to do that. Um, once you make a decision, it's okay to just plunk it down, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I found a single flower, and I'm going to add that to the embellishment cluster and then because I want an odd number of flowers I'm going to find another die cut flower and I'm going to put that on a foam dot adhesive and add that to the cluster in the middle there. So once I do that I think my layout is done. Well thank you so much for joining me if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video and I'll see you next time.